Good morning from our provincial capital city of Regina, <laughs> That's Saskatchewan, right. Canada. Exactly. <laughs> and what is the population of this beautiful city, Dad? I don't know what you told me. <laughs> 230,000. Yeah, 230. <laughs> Getting all the facts out yeah. there for you guys because we are here in the Wascana kind of city park or Wascana Center and apparently this green space is like twice the size of Stanley Park. Dad, have you been to Regina before? Yeah, a long time ago. And what do you remember about it? Not much. Well, today we are going to do more or less a first impressions video because I myself haven't been here in probably a good seven, eight years. Like we spent a lot of time in Saskatoon and because Regina is almost like a three hour drive, you know, south, it was always kind of a long ways to go for us. So join us today as we get our first impressions of the city, so to say, and uh, see what the provincial capital is all about. Well, this is really nice. I'm impressed. I've been to, you know, Ottawa and stuff where we have our actual, Thank you know, you. federal yeah. uh, legislative buildings. And I actually like this better. Because from what I remember, Ottawa doesn't really have these like really beautiful intended gardens and stuff. And it's like right near this Wascana Center Park that we were walking around. It looks very good. Yeah, good job, Saskatchewan. So these gardens that we're in right now are the Queen Elizabeth II gardens and they've got a statue of her right here. But how Regina actually got its name is because Regina is actually Latin for queen and it was named after the first Queen Victoria who was also the British monarch at the time. Well, that was really nice. Yes. Great tour. And yeah, very impressive building on the inside as much as it is on the outside. Really nice tour guide too. If you guys ever come here, they have tours every 30 minutes. You can't film, but you can take pictures and definitely worth the visit.
finished up with the museum. It was very nice and you just pay whatever donation you want to get in. And now we are going to start our walk into more of downtown Regina. And we are going to go to Hotel Saskatchewan, go to their restaurant that they have in the building for lunch because it's supposed to be like one of the most, you know, famous buildings in the whole city. So this place is absolutely gorgeous. This is their main lounge slash restaurant. I think it's called Circa 27 from what I saw online. And they have a really nice lunch menu. Not as expensive as I was actually expecting. And then they also have a really great uh, cocktail list with something I think I have to try, which is the sea buckthorn margarita. This is a type of berry that we actually have here in Saskatchewan and you almost never see it on menus for anything. So to see it with a margarita, I think I got to try it. My drink has just arrived and it looks amazing. We got a salted margarita rim and you see the berries kind of floating in there. Actually comment below if any of you have actually tried sea buckthorn before. All right. First impressions, sea buckthorn margarita. That's delicious. That's delicious. I'm a fan. Now I should preface this in saying that my dad does not drink like at all, which bless his heart. Thank you that you don't, but have a little sip and see what you think. I Actually, think it's not that bad. Really? <laughs> yeah. Better than the last drink you gave me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because uh, we were at the lake with some friends this weekend and my, I gave my dad a sip of the IPA, like craft beer I was drinking. And what was your reaction, dad? <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> the, the most disgusting thing I ever tasted. <laughs> well, I'm glad that this... Yeah. This, yeah very it's good. Drinkable. It is drinkable. That's straight from the horse's mouth. Our lunch has arrived and it does look fabulous. I got the Saskatchewan grain bowl where I think it has a few different types of grains. It has Saskatchewan lentils. It has grapes, which I'm actually excited to try. Some kind of microgreens, cauliflower, feta cheese. And then dad, you got the potato and cauliflower soup, right? Yes. Yeah, and it comes with some nice slices of bread. So all in all, fantastic experience here in one of Saskatchewan's most historic hotels.
good enough city lots there. Yeah. Oh, don't miss your exit. Oh, here? <laughs> no, 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 Moose Jump. <laughs> oh, here, you're going to get me going to Saskatoon. No, no. It's not an exit. That's the exit. No, sorry, but it said this lane, Moose yeah. Jump. As you can see, we are on our way to Moose Jaw. This was only about a half day stay in Regina, but it was a really nice time. I really thought it was a beautiful city. Very well taken care of in the downtown core, I will say. You would expect that in, you know, the provincial capital city, but it was really nice to see that their downtown core and around Parliament is like really nice, really well taken Watch care of. Park, really yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think for both of us that was kind of like the highlight of the city. Oh, yes. Beautiful park, really nice gardens all around there, so definitely worth checking out. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know if you have been to Regina, what were your first impressions, and make sure you stay tuned because, as I already mentioned, our next destination where we're heading now is Moose Jaw, a much smaller city here in Saskatchewan, but actually one of my favorites. I really like Moose Jaw. We've gone there quite a few different times. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys. <laughs>